Eloise, Nefel Nefelia Sleuth. Mm -hmm. So yeah, whenever another creature you control dies, investigate. Whenever you sacrifice the tokens, surveil one. So I think we were going to try to do eggs, kind of. Uh, yeah. Uh, and so see, like, see how that might play out. Because we also get to run a, a lot of cool, like, artifact creature stuff, shenanigans. Mm -hmm. So, what are we going to call it? Uh, it's Dirty Elvis. Rocks. It's a Dirty Rock. The thing that's really cool about this as an eggs build is that we get Marionette Master and, like, Disciple of the Vault. So, speaking of it, which... So, let's do that Marionette Master. Uh, M-A-O... There it is. And then what else? Uh, and Disciple of the Vault. There are those uh, when artifacts from the grave from the battlefield. You won't lose a life. We should we just play like Nim Deathmantle and Ash? Uh, if you want to run uh, that as part of that, it's like it's like a uh, potential way to win. And obviously, Car Clan. What else, Dark? This is you. Um, so we have uh, it would be Ironwork a Scrap Trawler. Wow, look at that price, even with it being banned. So that's the Scrap Trawler, uh, Mirror Retriever. We also get Black Tutors. And the. And uh, the junk Diver. And that right there is already like a combo. Uh, we get to run Academy Manufacturer in this deck, which is kind of nuts. We also, Tom, Tom, we get to run Time Sieve. Oh, yeah, the sack, uh, take an extra turn, right? Mm hmm. Ethereum Sculptor. Uh, Baleful Strix is actually an artifact creature. <clears throat> Sad Robot. Wait, say, say that again? Uh, it was Ethereum Sculptor. Baleful Strix, you said? Yeah. And then Solemn. Sad Robot. Uh, in a deck like this, I like Trading Post, because Trading Post could do some stuff. We get Thought Monitor, which is the blue affinity for artifacts that ETB draws. We get the own Talisman of Dominance. Um, what do you think about trying Deadly Dispute in this deck? That's that new one that's a sack a creature or an, artif or an artifact. And then you uh, draw two cards and make a treasure token. Yeah, we could try that. Right. Uh, we're uh, for invention, I like. Um, Tezzeret, Master of the Bridge. Of the bridge. That's that new one. Not that new one, but like that's I actually like him. I've actually had a deck to play him in before. It Master of the Bridge. So uh, creatures yeah, on planeswalkers have yeah, affinity have for affinity artifact. For, yeah. Uh, and then there's Tezzeret the Seeker. Uh, it just gets us any artifact, yeah. And then... Uh, uh, Thopter Spy Network could be kind of cool in this. If you control an artifact, you get one with flying. So and that's something also, to say. Uh, I mean, Demonic Tutor. This might be a Mirrodin Besiege deck. <laughs> because you play, you uh, Psy? Spell, yeah, I was about to say, Psy was next on my list. Shimmer Dragon, I like in this. Don't forget we need the eggs and stuff, too. Yeah. Alright, so, um... So let's do a uh, 
the Iker Wellspring. Um, we got the uh, well, my brain's exploding for a second. The thing is, I I also want to make sure that there it's enough creatures, but I guess we're still doing just like generic y, like uh. <laughs> So, like, so it's uh it still gets to surveil one whenever yeah. you sack a token well they're not tokens though they're the things well, yeah, no. we, but we get what's one to investigate the investigate side but uh um uh, elsewhere flask it's just like a a thing, a thing that sacks mm -hmm. uh uh was a was a prismatic one that I always I can't why wow, my name is exploding. Is it Owen? It's the two mana ETBs draws. No. Uh, prismatic lens. No, no. Is it? No, chrom or is it chromat? No. Oh, wow. that's chromatic star. You're thinking of. No, prophetic prism. There, that's what it's called. Cadolta uh, Forge Master, actually, like in this in this uh, deck too. Dark, you you know what's an artifact? Hangerback Walker. No, I was gonna say. Uh... Bolsis it at all? No, no, it is. Uh, Noxious, 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 ah, Noxious Gear Hulk. We get to run in this. Um, we want like more artifacts. What about Arcbound Ravager in this kind of deck? Yeah. Master of Ethereum is kind of cool. Meteor Golem. Uh, and then Mycosynth Golem. It might be MY. It's like Minko Synth. There he is. So all of our other artifact creatures have affinity. Um. Uh, uh, Meyer sire, uh, Meer sire. Sorry, not Meer sire. Um, speaking of, uh, I'm also thinking about other eggs that we could run to. Uh, we have Chunk Diver. Oh, I like um, uh, Jorah's familiar. And uh, what's the other one that makes them reduce? The Foundry Inspector. It's also a creature. <clears throat> uh, Vidalcan Archmage. Uh, oh, Phyrexian Metamorph. A Thopter Assembly. Yeah, that, that, that bitch. Yeah, that works with time sieve. And a uh, workshop assistant. <laughs> it's just another junk diver effect. Mm -hmm. Um, was there any cool things? Do you think we could run like, I mean, actually, you know what? We might, we maybe should run a, uh, a Zulaport cutthroat in, in the deck just because with, if we loop like a bunch of like, Creature artifacts dying. We might actually be able to kill people with that. Uh, Contraband Kingpin seems kind of cool too. So whenever an artifact enters the battlefield, scry one. Which we don't get to run in any other colors unless we're doing this. Uh, 
Um, those aren't colorless, so we can't use that. Uh, Ashnod's altar. I like having. I like running both just in case. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cameo's journal. Cameo's journal. <laughs> Reshape. I like. But I guess if we're no, because that puts into play. That's why we want it. And maybe we just run the. Uh, Oh, uh, Mishra's Self-Replicator might be kind of cool in this, too. So when you cast a Historic Spell, you may pay one. If you do, it's, you take a, a copy of, it's, of Mishra's Self-Replicator. Which can make us a lot of tokens. A lot of sack fodder.
So okay. usually when we play this kind of deck, the zero drop is a mana rock that you keep cycling. But we play the Ornithopter, we get... Oh, that's really cool artwork. That The Secret Lair. Mm -hmm. Or is it Judge Promo? It's a Secret Lair. Because usually you go free mana rock, tap it for mana, eat it up, and you generate plus three mana. But we can just go play Ornithopter, eat it up, trigger our commander, get the clue, and also eat the clue to Ironworks. So we're generating plus four colorless mana. So Memnite then also? Yeah, we probably run. We probably would want to run them. There's also like a wall of junk. We don't need too many. Just need to find like one or two. Because we still want to run the zero mana artifacts, which I'm we could just run in their in their place. Mm -hmm. We got we got we got Acre Wellspring in there, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um. Yeah, because we, we don't want, like, just... We want what about, like, Urza? I mean, Urza would also be really good in here. It would just kind of be, like, blue-black variant of Urza. I don't like that one. Oh, a uh, skull clamp. Because we're gonna probably equip our, our creatures a bunch, and then, and because of that we actually want to run master of Ethereum, I think, in this build, in this list, or uh, forge mast. Is it? It's master of Ethereum, or the other one that's the. Because uh... we have the. The four, the one that's like that makes the reducing cost, and the one that gives them the plus cost. Um. See, I would like Mystic Forge if it didn't uh, say colorless, and we have a lot of colored stuff. Do we yeah, want Phyrexian funny. Altar? Uh, we could. I guess it won't be the worst. Uh, do we have Mindstone? We barely put in any actual ramp. I only put in Soul Ring. Oh, okay. Uh, Talisman. Because <clears throat> sometimes I use those as like Muscle alternate ways board. to draw. Yeah. So I still I, I even run like the uh, like I run uh, the Dreamstone Hedron, which is like the six drop one. Do you want to play like Voltaiki or anything? Uh. Probably yeah, because we're going to probably run a bunch of, of mana rocks, too. Like, We just got to be careful, because we actually are two colors, so we can't go super colorless. Mm -hmm. I still want to run Thought Vessel in there. <clears throat> uh, Everflowing Chalice, just because we like the zero drops, even if we only use it one time. Yep, I got that. Uh... I probably should still run Demir Signet. We just want to hit the co those colors. Arcane Signet. Uh, yes, Arcane Signet. Wait a minute. Uh. Okay. Don't like that, don't like that. Clock of Omens is, I don't know, seems maybe okay. 
clock of elements? Um. Oh, Aetherflux Reservoir, sir. Way to win. Wait, 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 we need that way to win. Right. Aetherflux Reservoir and, um... Well, remember, we have the Marionette Master and Disciple also. Right, right. I just like having other routes. And I also still like Spine in this deck. Spine of Isha. Or Ish... Sha, Shia, whatever, however you say it. Ish. Yo, Ish nuts. Alright, where what's our count at right now? Of stuff... Uh... Because I think we should start looking into like filling out the rest of it and then trying to make cuts or ads or where we need to. Okay. Are we playing counter spells? <laughs> no. Okay. We're just going straight power, my dude. We 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 can we get we get swapped around if we really want to. And um, add like a, a few, the few controlling ones, <laughs> like uh, like I think we get to run like metallic rebuke and whatnot. It seems. Re Isn't that just counter unless they pay three though? Is it? I know there's one. It's like affinity for artifacts. It just makes it cost two. I think it's only. Uh... No, that's right. It's right now. Right, right. It's a stoic re rebuttal. Is the metal craft. That's kind of cool. Plum the Forbidden. So you get sacrifice uh, one or more creatures. When you do, you copy it for each creature sacrifice. Just draw a card and you lose one life. I think I'd rather just play Disallow than Stoic Rebo. Say that again? I was reading It's called Plum the Forbidden. It's just basically two mana, sack any number of creatures that draw that many. And you lose a life. <laughs> and we uh, probably should still run Blue Sun. I still like Blue Sun and, or... Or maybe we could do uh, pull from tomorrow because we don't care about discarding like a card. No, we need a. Uh, you want blue sun because it goes back in the deck. Just and uh, model the mixture. Ah. I mean, if we're not going to play any removal, play the one. Okay, hold on. Well, you think on that. Let me go get some water. All right. I'm not going to put the BRB thing back on because you're still, so. Yeah, so uh, we could do that one. Uh, no, that doesn't work. We do I have iron work. That does, nope. Um. Nope. Nope.
All right. Ah. Uh... <laughs> All right. So maybe I'm thinking, thinking on some lands anyway. So we get to run buried ruin. Oh yeah, Inventor's buried fair, Inventor's Academy fair. ruin. No budget, right? Ancient mm. tomb. And then we can play Urza Saga. The cool thing with Urza Saga is if we if we don't need to search for like our one or zero artifact, or whatever. We could just grab like an artifact land because it is an artifact. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> I was wondering about treasure vault because we can actually make a bunch of treasures with it. The sack at the trigger our commander, but oh, we have it. Uh, Frexian tower, we get the run. Also, thinking if we run enough lands that maybe I was gonna say maybe field of the dead, but honestly, we may not actually get to the turn where it's active before we win. Yeah, we not. Yeah, that. Yeah, that might just be like unnecessary. And then uh, Erborg. But it doesn't say non-token. That's kind of good. Yeah. So it actually will be. So it'll trigger both parts of it. No, son of a bitch. The evil eye of Erborg. Yo, that, I wonder how many times that card gets pulled up by accident. So, uh, we got our command tower in there. Command tower. Well, our watery grave. Underground river. Morphic pool. Got morphic pool. Clear water pathway. Mm -hmm. Fire of Industry. Spire of Industry. Oh. So you should... It's the one pay one life. Mm -hmm. uh, sunken Ruins. I'm actually looking at all the lands we could play that enter untap because I don't want to, like... It feel it might feel awkward at times being playing like a scry land or having to run some tap lands. I think we play in Dr drowned catacomb. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. It's because we have to make sure we have base active for that. So like I don't really want to run any other untapped dual lands. Like maybe River of Tears, but that one gets a little awkward sometimes. Exotic Orchard. I don't know. And like Sunken Hollow Winter is untapped. We have two or more. Oh, oh, and then I'm sorry, I forgot the new one. Um, oh, two things: shipwreck march, march, and uh, moon silver key. That's that new one that I really like. You sack it to search for an artifact with a mana ability, which is Ironworks. I actually need to pick one of those up for. Uh, uh, for Urza. And then I guess whatever we want to do with the rest of the lands is maybe base some basics. Do you want to play any generic draw like a Phyrexian Arena or Rhystic Study or anything like that? Uh, that's, we don't need to. I kind of don't need it. Okay. We, we have a few things that do it, and also the, our commander does it. Kind of. Kind of. It's like paid to to draw a card kind of thing. But we have a, we have like three or four creatures that ETB draw. Uh, we could run... Um, also didn't, oh, put a, didn't put a ton of actual mana rocks in. Like no Basalt Monolith or Mana Vault or anything. I, mean, I guess if you want to go that hardcore on it. We could play Mana Vault. I mean, we're already playing Demonic Tutor and everything else. Do you want to play like Mana Crypt, I guess? Why not? We're already going in that direction. Oh my jeez, I didn't realize how expensive that is. Mm -hmm. It just keeps climbing up. Uh, any MBFCs uh, you want to play? Uh, 
Definitely not, not Slendy Vision. I mean, we could do Glass Pool Mimic. I guess because we have a bunch of creatures that aren't legendary. So, I mean, we can make two Marionette Masters. Glass. And then I guess just like Hagger Mauling or. I guess we don't even need it. We could just leave it out. Agadim's yeah, Awakening? I... What about Seagate Restoration? We can play that. Okay, Seagate, I think we might actually be able to pump enough mana into it. And, Ag and Agadim's is just a good recover card, I guess. Because we could, like, yeah, it's true, because we can nuke our whole board and just go Agadim. And those can both enter untapped. Okay, so that's three more lands. So we're at 24. We haven't played... I think we're good on the ramp. And uh, we need to add in the islands and the swamps. Okay, so... <sighs> so it's two and three NDFCs? Yes, and also it looks like we're more blue. I forgot about that artwork for him. Oh, yeah, the Ravager? Yeah. Mm hmm. We probably don't have to be super high in mana cost because our stuff is kind of relatively low. Alright, so. I already have some of my thoughts on cuts. This? I guess it's too slow. Hello! What's up, dude? How's it going? It says Durso the Immortal. Let's go. What's up, dude? Yo, who's Buffa Low? I forget. Well, tell us who you are, friend, so we can say hi to you properly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think? Cutting Thopter Spy Network. But then again, we also that's also some early game setup that like we dropped it the turn before our commander. That's most likely getting us a free Thopter. And that's like double removal. I mean, that's like getting a we get the clue and the surveil. So surveil is also kind of <laughs> cool because it also helps us set up and. Yeah, I mean that really narrows it down though. <laughs> and there's this old friend from New Jersey, yo. Me too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo, he says, I, Buffalo, get low, get low. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, also thinking in this list, um, not just Deep Gear Hulk, I kind of don't like. Okay. I think we're just going to try comboing. And so, like, we have the the spine. Um, what was Mecha Godzilla? Was that Walking Ballista? Yes. Or, uh, it's Walking Ballista. Okay. No, Hanger Back Walker. Hanger Back, that's what it is. That's so weird. It looks much more like a Walking Ballista card. Uh, maybe Arcbound, we don't know, but it does eat up things. And it is a creature, and remember, that's a little bit more important. Yeah, because creatures uh, matter a little bit more where we're just playing just generic artifacts. Well, now that we have a little bit more on our mana ramp, is probably a little bit better. We could probably drop out maybe some of the stuff. Thopter Assembly is a combo. I like that as a draw. That We need that. We need that. Uh, Mir, Mir Sire could come out. He's just kind of okay. The thing to sack. That Golem is nuts. If it ever actually gets to get into play. Uh, you know, we don't need that. I don't think we need him. I like him. It's just that he just answers things. Like, sometimes you just need a way to stop something. That's this, an artifact. This can go. We kind of need that though. Why? Here's why. So we have we have um, skull clamp. Oh no! And all I took, the one I, one to Oh no! I still have it. Yeah. So when we equip with skull clamp, if there are one ones, they auto die. But if with him in play, they live, and then we get sack them to ironworks. So we actually get to go plus one mana. But for that's every four equip. cards. Remember, the commander's not Psy. 
I know, but well, we have we have like f three or four things that make them, like that make one ones, and even at worst, like I don't know, if that's going, that's kind of going, and it also lets us equip to. But they also, I, I guess it, if we equipped to junk, uh, to mirror retriever, it lets it auto die. But then also we don't. Uh, it's it has its give or take depending which way you go. I, guess I feel like that combo that combo is better when you're playing with Psy. But the thing is, I still run that in the Urza deck just because once I have that going, that's just like, it's just super gas. But we also have black that we get to run in this, and we're kind of not as, like, dig heavy ish as much as we're just going to get Master, Marionette Master, and just win. So, is it staying or is it going? Uh, it could go for now. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I don't want to get too much more through creatures because I want to leave as many creatures as possible. So, let's go through just, like, our artifacts. We have another big pile there. Trading post, time sieve, thought vessel, journal. We've seen on turn and myth mantle. I guess that's the other combo, yeah. I like Moon Silver as a tutor and that drum. I Maybe mean, we don't need Golden Egg. And I like Elsewhere Flax because it can't... And maybe we don't need the Dream Stone he drawn because we're not as into that version. I think we get to dig a little bit easier in this deck. We can take out Clock Omens too. I think it's just kind of okay in this build. This is kind of funny. Yeah, that actually can also... like Because we could Surveil so we could set up our top. It's actually probably really good. Also, we could cheat it in mm -hmm. with Wurr Reshape. Yep. <laughs> Alright, we can drop Deadly Dispute and the Plum the Forbidden. I don't think those are as important. It's kind of cool to get the draw sack, but like we don't have our commander in play. Like We want to be doing that earlier. Those are all good. I like those. And that's just like more tutor stuff. We also don't need that version of Tezzer at the Seeker. That's well, probably like what the from the Mythic, Mythic Edition. Mythic Edition. Oh, he stole a bunch. But yeah, he's just real good. You read what he does? He's kind of yeah. broken. Yeah, he's broken. He's kind of dumb. And that's just like straight fodder. Maybe we could drop the Thopter Spy Network. I think we have enough uh, token generation. Six more cards. We still got to drop six. Oh my god, my poopy hurts. Trading post. Maybe we don't need trading posts again. I, I bet that's also a sacky thing, but I think we have enough sack stuff, honestly. But, but that is so much, though. You can also draw a card. It sacks a creature, too. No, I still like that, I guess, yeah. I really don't want to cut like more creatures though. They maybe say screw Urza. I know he's really good, but like, but he makes one and it's a token. And if we have infinite mana, we just dump it into him anyway. Meh. <laughs> That's another combo in the deck. See, this is why I like. Like, when I have uh, the way my Urza is built, like, there's, like, three, four different routes to different combos. So, like, if you kill one, I'll just go for the other one. So I don't need as many, like, counter spells. All right, what about Mycosynth Golem? It's artifact creature spells, but we do have a bunch of them. But they're already really cheap to begin with, so is making them have affinity? It could, though. All right, let's look at let's look at all of our creatures that it affects with this. We already have an affinity dude. He already has infinity, so it's that dude gets cheap. He gets cheap. The rest of the deck is relatively cheap. Like meteor golem is the one big thing. So yeah, I think we could take him out. He's he's got, he's really expensive. We can't get him in play right away. He's also just cool with scrap trawler because he's free eventually, but. If 
Forge Master also has to wait a turn before it can go active. So do you want to cut it? Yeah, I think we can cut. I'm not a huge fan of Forge Master. Man, imagine if we'd have Tinker. Stop. Tinker would feel good. <laughs> um, I think maybe looking at other spells now. I really want to go any lower on creatures. Because, like, we need them. I guess we don't need only them to die, but it really helps. I mean, we have a lot of ramp now, so do we. Maybe we could cut out a land? Or two? And that leaves us with two more cuts. Hmm. I don't know, man. Maybe we're not playing the eggs list, so maybe we don't need like the, the like the elsewhere flask. I still like Icar Wellspring. The the elsewhere flask is like that. ETB draws a card, eat it up for two eggs shenanigans. Uh, which is good, but that's really good when you have scrap trawler shenanigans going because that's like your way to keep drawing. Like Icar Wellspring is usually your go to for that. But I guess we are a little bit different kind of deck. The only other thing we have is this. Thing is that also Belfos costs mana, and that's like uh, generic, which lets Ironworks do its thing. Yes. The Dalkin Archmages draws. Zulapur Cutthroat. Like, if we get Scrap Troll, if we get Ironworks, Scrap Trawler, Junk Diver, and Cutthroat, I think we just win right there. Because we just sack them and just keep playing both of them into each other and keep sacking them. Mm -hmm. I guess technically we need one reducer, but we got lots of those. Maybe we don't need Elsewhere Flask, because I think we have the other zero drops. Elsewhere Flask fills in the spot of, like, zero drops. You mean Overflowing Chalice? Or overflowing Chalice, I meant. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> One more card still. Maybe we don't need Meteor Golem because we have Spine. Spine does what Meteor Golem does. I don't really like taking out another creature, but... We also generate a potentially a lot of tokens otherwise. Alright, let's see how this goes. That's a, that's a deck. That's a deck price. <laughs> <laughs> 